Now let me explain the concept of independent events. What are independent events? Well, let's say that I have event A and event B. If they're independent, the occurrence of event A won't affect event B whatsoever and vice versa. It won't affect the probability of either. So let's say that event A is Miami Heat, Heat beating uh, the Lakers. In a game. And event B would be, let, uh, let's say, uh, the Patriots beating uh, the Detroit Lions in a game. Uh, two different sports, there's absolutely no connection between these two events, hence there are, they are independent. So if the Heat, the, if they beat the Lakers, that won't affect the probability of the Patriots beating the Lions whatsoever and vice versa. So these events are completely independent. And here's one really important condition that only works for independent events. If they are indeed independent, P, A, and B, so the probability that they both happen will be equal to P, A times P, B. Again, very important. This will only be true if the events are independent. If this doesn't hold, they are dependent events. And we're going to talk about that later. So let's pretend here that uh, the probability of event A happening is 0.6. There's a 0.6 chance that the Heat will beat the Lakers in this one random game that they're playing. And the probability of event B, the probability of the Patriots beating the Lions, uh, let's say that it's 0.8. I won't make any, uh, at least I hope I won't make anyone from Detroit angry at this statement. Let's say that the Patriots are playing really well. Okay, so what is the probability that both events will occur? And that's what AND means, right? That both events will occur. The probability that they will both occur, given that they are independent, will be just one times the other. Hence, we're just going to get 0 0.48. So there's a 48% chance if these probabilities are true, of course, that the Heat will beat the Lakers and the Patriots will beat the Lions. Different sports, completely independent events, and that's it. I suggest, of course, that you scroll down, click on some questions. By clicking on them, you watch more videos, and uh, good luck.